What the fuck's happening? happening? It is pointing towards the door. Did you just come in? Yes! Holy shit! Wait, dude, we gotta listen Wait. to this because okay. it's saying something. It's saying Just behind you, there's a doll. It's moving. You should turn around. We'll get it. What? Oh, I don't know. Holy Yeah, it's totally moving. I see it now. Ghosts, apparitions, and spooky occurrences have fascinated the human psyche for centuries. We watch horror movies and read ghost stories with a mix of fascination and fear. But in some cases, the terror becomes real when individuals encounter supernatural occurrences in their own lives. In this video, we will explore some of the most documented real-life haunted cases and their chilling details. So, are you ready to explore the petrifying cases? No. 5. The Velisca Axe Murders was rocked by a horrific axe murder that claimed the lives of eight individuals, including six innocent children. Among the victims were Josiah and Sarah Moore, along with their four children and two young visitors, all of whom were discovered in a gruesome state. Josiah, a respected businessman and active church member, was among those brutally murdered. The tragic incident took place while the victims were asleep, likely around or after midnight, with each one found in bed, their heads concealed by bedclothes, and their skulls brutally struck 20 to 30 times with the blunt side of an axe. That the spirits of the deceased continue to linger within the infamous Villisca Axe Murder House. Today, the house has become a popular tourist destination, offering overnight accommodations for the brave-hearted. Those who have spent the night at the Villisca Axe Murder House have recounted encounters with the spirits. Number 2 4. The Bell Witch Haunting the Bell Witch Haunting is a renowned and ancient instance of paranormal phenomena in the United States. From 1817 to 1821, John Bell and his family were tormented by an enigmatic and unseen spirit now referred to as the Bell Witch. This place is terrifying. Wait till you hear the story. This is known online as America's greatest ghost story. And this location is home to the only death confirmed by supernatural causes in history. Up until this video, I didn't think the supernatural had ever taken a life before. I've never heard of that before. This witch, demon, spirit, whatever you call it, tormented a family starting in 1817 for four years, ending up taking one of their lives. And tonight, we try to figure out why. And what is the Bell Witch? According to the legend, this witch possessed the ability to communicate, transform its shape, and be present in multiple locations simultaneously. It's not the, so it's usually not what like physically feel, it's what you emotionally feel when you go in the cave especially. Like for me, there was a certain point where I wouldn't go alone in the cave anymore. Really? Because like, yeah. when I first started working there, I didn't believe in any of this stuff. I grew up here in this town and it's a big deal. I go into a small school, so everybody talks about it. Yeah. Right. And you get down there and it's fun and you can tell your buddies, yeah, it's no big deal, blah, blah, blah. And then something happens. It's like, okay, that's not so much fun anymore. It all began with peculiar noises and persistent knocking on their doors gradually escalating to physical assaults on family members. The family also claimed to have heard voices and witnessed strange apparitions. My mom's been attacked in the house twice. Scratches. On face? On, on her face. Oh. And then the other ones were behind her ear. Those bled. A lot of the story has to do with scratches and slaps and shaking beds. Do you believe all that definitely happened back then? Yes. Yes. Very rarely does people talk about being touched in the case including a bizarre creature with a dog's body and a rabbit's head. Number 3. The Mysterious Island of the Evil Dolls The Island of the Dolls, also known as Isla de las Muñecas, is a small island situated to the south of Mexico City. It gained notoriety during the 1950s when Julian Santana Barrera, a resident of the island, claimed that it was haunted by the spirit of a young girl who had tragically drowned in the waters nearby. In an effort to appease the spirit, Barrera began adorning the trees on the island with hundreds of dolls. After Barrera's death in 2001, the island became a popular tourist destination, with visitors claiming to see the dolls moving, whispering, and even opening their eyes. Just behind you, there's a doll. It's moving. You should turn around. We'll get it. What? Oh, 
Totally moving. I see it now. Some also reported feeling a creepy atmosphere on the island, with the dolls appearing to follow them as they walked. None were. De two, the White House hauntings. The White House, the official residence and workplace of the President of the United States, is an iconic and historic building that has served as the center of political power in America for over two centuries. Its recognizable white facade and impressive architecture have made it a symbol of the nation. However, behind its dignified exterior, there have been persistent rumors and stories of the building being haunted. The debate over whether the White House is truly haunted has sparked much discussion and speculation. Numerous presidents and staff members have claimed to have encountered the ghost of Abraham Lincoln, the 16th president of the United States. To make clear what the benefit have no fear, the ceiling is not falling that I'm aware of. Okay, um, <laughs> okay, I, hopefully, it's an old building. Um, one, maybe Lincoln's ghost, that's quite something. Maybe it is. Um, no, one, the Haunted Tower of London. The Haunted Tower of London, established by William the Conqueror in 1066, is situated in the heart of London and stands as a globally recognized symbol. Throughout its thousand-year existence, the tower has witnessed a dark history of torture and execution, leading to rumors of haunting by the spirits of the deceased. Among these spectral apparitions, the most notable are Anne Boleyn and Lady Jane Grey, both wives of King Henry VIII, who were beheaded on his orders. It is believed that their spirits still wander the tower, lamenting their cruel fates. Anne's ghost is often sighted either carrying her severed head or appearing in a ghostly white dress near a window. Among the famous ghosts, other notable spirits include Sir Walter Raleigh, Thomas Beckett, and even the young princes Edward V and Richard of Shrewsbury, who were imprisoned and presumably murdered by their uncle, King Richard III. However, it is not only the executed who haunt the tower. The oldest part of the fortress, the White Tower, is said to be haunted by the spirits of two young princes, John and Thomas, who were held captive and murdered by King Henry II. Conclusion While some people dismiss these stories as lies or exaggerations, there are others who believe in the existence of an afterlife and the possibility of spirits in our world. Please share your thoughts on the topic in the comments section and don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe for more engaging videos. Stay tuned for the next video.